My two younger brothers and I like to paint together sometimes. I remember sitting at the table accompanied by faces so innocent they can bail others out of prison, both of them armed with a paintbrush and some misprinted scratch paper. There are a few things that bring me and my brothers together. Art being one, the need to talk until everyone in the room is listening is another, and our, the last is our moms, but not our dads. I vividly remember meeting my stepdad, and later, that wonderful, wonderful man brought me the lights of my world, perfectly blended African jeans mixed with my mother's rather pale complexion. I hear some call them light skins. I call them my mocha babies. <laughs> When they got older, our favorite thing to do together was paint because an art piece can't be a treasure without variety. I remember looking at the watercolor paint given. It's funny how these people think red, yellow, and blue is enough that the other colors have no place in their selection. We decided to paint an American flag. Well suited. Stands for freedom. Something easy enough for a five and nine year old to construct. And I remember almost being finished when they took that sweet last stroke. The blue in the corner and the red on the stripe collided. Like generations of warfare and bigotry producing the purple no one wanted to see. Like freedom existed if it all stayed cleanly separated. I remember the first time he held his palms up to me and said, look, I'm white too. Or the day the younger one followed suit, sliding my long hair between his two fingers when from his soul spilled tragedy. He told me that he wanted hair like mine because he hated the curls in his. They are surrounded by monuments of things polarized like magnets because how can you feel at home when you don't know where you came from? When your blend of history is erased with blood? When it's easy to be reminded that unlike the other kids, you don't quite look like mom and you don't exactly look like dad. When no matter the gathering or meeting, you're the odd one out because the words, well, he's really not black or he's too dark to be white, trap you. When they ask about race, it's not one check, but instead check all that apply. Ignorant minds act like they're lucky enough to share a fraction of color that qualifies them for white privilege Privilege, but still receive every bit of racism from the schoolyard bigot. They are taught to choose black or to choose white. They are taught to embrace the stereotypes or betray the culture. They are taught to take that painted flag and raise it on the highest mountain or to stomp every bit of it until it melts into the tar. They are taught that you can only go to the North Pole or the South, but I remember the quiver in their lips when they told me they didn't even like the cold. Don't you dare! Let them take away the ancestry that tra traces the curves on your face. Don't you dare let them pry your pride from you before telling you to swallow it whole. You are my brothers. You are biracial. And you are beautiful. <laughs>